To make your flower pot person, you are going to need two five inch firm plastic pots, six six centimeter plastic pots, a ball of string, a ruler, a glue stick, some felt pens, a pencil, a scissors, and some paper. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is draw your flower pot person's face. And so on your white piece of paper, we're going to draw two eyes, a nose. You can do them any shape you want. And then we're going to have a nice big smiley face on ours today. There we go. Colour in. Excellent. Then you need to cut it out. When you have cut your eyes, nose and mouth out, our next job is to glue them on to the front of a five inch plastic pot. And then you're going to need to have lots of glue, loads and loads of glue on him. There we go. Now then, if you were going to put your plant pot person outside, then you could paint your eyes, nose and mouth with some acrylic paint, let it dry and then cover it in varnish so it doesn't come off in the rain. If this is going to go outside, I would suggest that you put some varnish on him as well, on just on the face. And there is your head ready. For your flower pot person. I'm now going to show you how to make the legs. First of all you will need to measure out two pieces of string that are 80 centimeters long. So I've only got a 30 centimeter ruler with me today so I'm going to do that. That's 30, 60, 80. I'm going to cut that and hold the string together, make another 80 centimeter string. So these are what you need to make the legs. And then for each leg, we'll do the first leg, you need to have two of the six centimeter plastic pots. And you're going to thread the string down through the pot so we can see the holes in the bo bottom of the pot. We're going to thread the string down through one of the pots, one of the holes, and then on the opposite hole, we're going to thread That's the string. If I can get it through, there we go. You see, you need to make sure that they are the same length. The string is the same length. And then you're going to tie a knot in the string. So hold the string and tie a knot. Like that. Okay. 
then with your two ends again you're going to thread them down through the second pot again we're going to go for opposite holes And as you pull, that is one of your legs ready. And then you're very simply going to make another knot. That's your first leg. Done. Easy. And to make your second leg, we're going to get our second piece of string that is 80 centimetres long and two more six centimeter pots and like we did on our first leg we're going to go down through the holes through the pot put your string into one of the holes and in an opposite hole thread the other string make sure that they're at the same distance and tie can't measure properly today and tie a knot try and make sure that you do it at the same distance that you did the other leg doesn't matter if they are a little bit different because we're all different and unique so why can't our plant pot be different again get your second pot we're going to thread through holes opposite holes and then gently push it down so it's resting on the knot on your string. And we're going to do another knot to keep everything in place. And there is your second leg. So now we're going to start on the arms. Again, you need to get your string, your ruler and your scissors this time your string needs to be 60 centimeters long so I'm going to start again and to get it 30 60 I'm going to cut it hold the end of the strings together and gently Pull. and you've got two 60 centimeter pieces of string for your arms you will need one six centimeter plastic pot and exactly like what we did with the legs you're going to thread down through the pot to the holes in the bottom doing opposite holes like that Make sure that the string is the same length, roughly the same. Hold it like that and pull. And then we're going to do a knot in the string. And that's your arm done. For the second one, get your another six centimeter pot. Thread down through the holes, opposite down through the holes and pull it get these two together to make sure they're the same length knot and your arms are done you are now ready to start to build your flower pot person we're going to start to build up our flower pot person. The first thing we're going to do is attach the two legs to the body of your flower pot person. This will be another five inch plastic pot, the one that does not have the picture on it because this will be the body. Get one pair of one leg and we're going to thread the string up through the holes so we've got it on one hole and then we're going to thread the second piece of string through the hole next to it and you see it coming through there that's how it's going to look okay 
so we've got the holes that are next to each other we're going to pull enough string through the holes so that the legs are going to sit nicely on your table so when the your flower pot person sits down his legs are going to be sitting correctly and then we're going to tie a knot Okay, I'm going to tie it in place. For our second leg, we're going to thread the string through these two holes. So we're still at the front of the body. So we're going to go up through the one hole. And the second string will go through the next hole. There we go, sit him down again. And if you wanted to, you could hold him to make sure that your legs are the same length. But it is easy to do it when he's sitting down. I'm going to tie knot again, like that. And then get your scissors and simply trim off the excess string. So already your plant pot person has his two legs attached. Then we're going to start on his arms. We're going to attach the arms now to the body of our flower pot person. We're going to get one of your arms and we're going to use the same holes that we used for the legs. So with your first arm, we're going to thread the string down through the holes. Very carefully, down through the holes. Get as much as you can to go down. And then put your finger over the holes, so this will make sure it doesn't fall back out. And tip over your plant pot. You can see the two loose ends of string and we're just going to pull until the knot of your arm comes to the top of the plant pot to make sure that it is secure we are very simply going to re-thread the string so we're going to thread the string back through the holes but the opposite hole to what it came up so we're going to thread it back down There, that's one. Ooh. Bashing the camera as I go, and the other one goes down through that one. Pull them up. There we go. And then you can tie put that in the middle. Tie this in place, again like you did before, a simple knot, and that's your first arm attached. For the second one, again, we're going to go down through the holes, the same holes that you used earlier on for the legs. Thread the string as much as you can through the holes. Put your finger on top of the holes tip them over and you can see the two loose pieces of string you simply pull them till the knot comes to the top of the pot and like we did the last time we're going to thread the string back through the holes but the opposite holes We're going to pull them tight. Pop those legs in there for a minute just to get them out of the way. Put them tight. Tie a knot. And his both arms are attached. And then we're very simply going to cut off the excess string again. Okay. 
there is your body of your plant pot person with his two arms attached. Now we're going to attach the head to the top of the body. Time to attach the head to the body. So we need some more string, our ruler and the scissors. This time you need to measure out 120 centimetres of string. So it's 30, 60, 90, 120. And we're going to cut it. Now get the head and we're going to thread your string down through the holes. And we're going to work it so they're going to be opposite. Okay. And what you will be doing is threading the string through the holes and it will attach onto this one. So we're going to match up the holes. So if you put his head on the front so you know where the face is and you can work out then where the holes are and you see the holes on there and the holes there and you need to match them up okay okay it doesn't matter if he's a little bit wonky it really doesn't matter okay here we go mine is going to be a little bit wonky So we're going to thread the string down through the holes. There we go. Pull it tight like that. Make sure that the string is the same length. And then we're going to sit him on top. Easier to show you like this. And so we're going to thread his head now through the holes on your body. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to put it through that one. As I said, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit wrong. Pop him over and find that string. Again with this one. Opposite, pop him down. Push it all the way through. Find the loose string and pull. So now you can see we've got the two loose strings here and his head. And when we pull these strings, his head will attach to the body. And what you're going to do then, this is the really tricky part. You put him on his head and the string you're now going to thread through new holes. So I'm going to gently lift the body a little bit. And you can see it's going to go through that hole and then through down through that hole. Okay. So nice and steady and you can just simply thread the string through back to his body, his head. Get your other piece of string. Make sure he's not twisted in his arms and legs. And we're going to go opposite, so find the opposite. And he's going to go through there. Let's pop him through there. doesn't matter really which ones he goes through as long as he is attached. As you can see, this is the fiddlier bit. But once you've done it once, it's really, really easy because they'll be in place. Pop him over. And you can see where the head is. And you've got two more pieces of string loose. So pull them tight. 
and there we have it he is attached I would suggest that you thread through again a couple of times to make sure that he is totally secure and then at the end we are simply going to tie a knot down inside this is where you could really do with two pairs of hands tie it tight cut off any excess so well done you have made your very own flower pot person to make your flower pot person unique you could paint the body arms and legs with acrylic paint or maybe add some clothes using old bits of material or even some baby clothes if you have them have a look on the internet for some great ideas and don't forget to plant some hair so put um, a little potted plant inside and your flower pot person will have the most amazing hair now that you've made one flower pot person why not have a go at making a whole family of flower pot people Thank mm -hmm. you.